The first step is to remove the bottom two screws. The two screws are located near the dock connector on the left and right side. You use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws. Once the two bottom screws are removed, we can remove the back plate of the iPhone. Push upward on the back plate to slide the, the locks open. You can then remove the plate from the back of the iPhone. If you're taking a look at the back, you can see that the connector is here and already popped up. There's a screw that holds down the metal plate which locks the connector into place. You'll need to take out the screw and pop up the metal connector to remove the battery. The next step after the battery has been removed is to remove the metal covering that is located at the top of the iPod. There are five screws, one, two, three, four, and five, that will need to be removed in order to lift out this plate and begin to have access to the LCD and digitizer connectors. The two connectors, one for the iPhone LCD and one for the digitizer, are located at the top left near the camera. They can be popped up very gently with an iPod pry tool or but with your fingernail. You can move them upward, but be gentle with the connectors as they are very delicate. There is another screw that is covered with a white tab located here on the top portion of the board. You will need to remove the white sticker tape to access the screw, and then you can remove the screw. The next step is to begin removing the board so that we can access the screws that hold the front panel LCD and digitizer in place. There are three screws located on the right side of the phone when you're looking at the back opened up. There are also screws, three screws on the left side. This will require that we remove the board. We just took off another metal plate that holds down a connector for the board. We need to remove this so we can access all the screws on the board and remove the board safely. Remove the plate, it has two screws and the plate comes right off and then you can gently pry the connector up and slowly peel it back as it is glued into place. Now we can reach the bottom screw and also the antenna connectors that we will need to be removing in order to release the board. There are additional ribbon cables that have pop down connectors that you will need to lift up. They are located at the top of the board towards the right hand side and there are three of them. Two and three. To remove the bottom screw, you just need to unscrew one of the screws on the right hand side for the dock connector. Once that happens, you can lift it up slowly and sideways because there's still a ribbon cable attached so that you can access the bottom screw. There are actually four frame screws that are located around the perimeter in the four corners that need to be released in order to take off the front glass and digitizer. Once you have the bottom dock connector lifted up, you'll be able to access the two bottom screws. Now that we've removed the front glass, we went ahead and put the new glass into place. We had to clean off the frame because there was a lot of shards of glass left over from the old cracked glass. The new digitizer and LCD slid right into place and we slipped the cables through the opening on the iPhone's frame. We are now going to go ahead and put the screws back in around the perimeter and then begin to put the board back in and get the iPhone put back together completely so that we can test it.